You have Sherwood in writing saying, I'm sorry, this just won't work, and Terry Pascal... His protege. Fine, his protege, but a handwriting expert saying, do not disqualify the suspect on the basis of handwriting. These two cancel each other out. No, because it was Sherwood's case. He was the head of question documents. If it went to trial, all the defense would have to do is call Sherwood to the stand. And there was no way to get Alan into court in the first place because there was no evidence. But you have seen him with the ciphers. The military boots, the same size shoe and gloves, the most dangerous game, the Zodiac watch. Robert. The background with school children, the bloody knives in the car, the misspelling of Christmas, the connections to the murder scenes. It's all circumstantial. Stein's shirt, his wallet, his keys. We should have found one of those things in that trailer. We didn't. Hold on one second. What? The trailer, I saw. From Catherine Allen, Lay cleaned out his trailer Friday after work and took it to Santa Rosa Saturday, August 7th. Yeah? You interviewed him at the refinery Wednesday, August 4th. He's cleaning out his trailer, moving it to a different county 48 hours after you interview him. You have to look at this stuff side by side. What do you mean? Alan, the Zodiac, their timelines. When did the first murder in Vallejo take place? Christmas of 68. Eight months after, Alan is found and fired for molesting children. And his family finds out he's a pedophile. When did the letters begin? July of 69. After the second murder. And they continue until you interview him. Did any of the letters after contain swatches of Stein shirt? No. Because he dumped it. He got scared because you visited him at work. When was the next time the Zodiac wrote? Not until January of 1974. Which means he's silent for three years after you interview him. But by 74, he feels safe again. Everyone's moved off Alan as a suspect. So the Zodiac writes three new letters. January. July, May, in 74. But then the letters stopped. What happened to Alan? He was arrested. January of 75, they sent him to Atascadero. We didn't get a single letter while he was in there. And when was he released? August of 77. He gets out, he writes you, and then we get our first new Zodiac letter in four years. What do you think? I've got one question. Zodiac had to have known Darlene Farron, right? because of the phone calls on the night of her murder, that's right. And because of this report, we know Darlene knew a man named Lee. Yes. All coincidences aside, how can you be sure that Lee Allen is the Lee from the report? It, Vallejo's a small town, but it's not that small. How do you know they're connected? This is a case that's covered both Northern and Southern California with suspects and victims spread across hundreds of miles. Would you agree? Yes. Alan lived in his mother's basement on Fresno Street. Darlene worked as a waitress at the Vallejo House of Pancakes. Lee Allen lived less than 50 yards away. 
Christ. Do you think it's him? The prints and the handwriting. I'm not asking the cop. I'm asking my friend. Do you think it's him? Yes. We could never prove it. <laughs>